Hello guys! Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Go. It's been quite a long time since I've done one of these. It's, it's actually only been just over a week since I've done one of these videos, but it feels like a lot longer. I hope you've been having a lot of fun doing gym raids. I've, I've been having a lot of fun doing gym raids, especially level 4 raids. Um, the lag is crazy. I would have done more recordings, more videos for you guys, but the lag when recording gym raids is just crazy. It makes it really hard to catch the Pokemon. It makes gym battling really, really laggy. I'd normally be able to take out level 2 and level 3 raids by myself, but with the, with the screen recorder, it just makes everything very, very laggy. Reversal has had the same issue with his live streams doing gym raids, and so that's one of the main reasons I haven't been doing many gym raid uploads. But I will try in the future, hopefully Niantic just sorts out these bugs so we can actually do these gym raids a lot more smoothly. And the other reason is that, you know, the, the amount of Pokemon that you can do gym raids for is quite limited. Um, so, and you can go online, go on YouTube and look at and find the videos for all the different types of gym raids that you can get. So I'm not exactly providing anything new here, but what I want to do today, as you can tell by the title of the video, is I want to do a little bit of a... TM guide, the Pokemon Go TM guide, the, one of the Pokemon that you need to be using your TMs on. I've got a few TMs and I'm going to use most of them today. I'm, I'm going to try and use all, I'm actually going to use all of them. I'm definitely going to use all my charge TMs, but the fast TMs, no, I probably won't use all of them. Um, but before I get into my, what, my Pokemon that I'm going to use TMs on, I'm going to show you the first Pokemon I did use a TM on. I did not record this. It is an Ursaring. This Ursaring, it did not have counter, it had Metal Claw, and I decided to use a TM on it because Double Fighting Move is the move set you want in the gym metagame right now. Double Fighting is very good for taking out Blissies, Snorlaxes, and Tyranitars. But the thing is, now my champ is still a better fighting type because it's it has stab, same type attack bonus. Because it's a fighting type, it gets a bonus for its fighting type moves. But the reason why this is just as um, attractive as a fighting type Pokemon is because it is not a fighting type. It does not get those. It does not get super effective damage when it's attacked with Zen Headbutt. When it's attacked with Dazzling Gleam, you know that that those are the move sets that Snorlax and Blissey have. So the reason why Machamp goes down really really quickly is not because it's it's not just because its defense is really really weak, it's because like Snorlax and Snorlax and Blissey are dealing also dealing super effective damage against it. So with Ursa Ring you do not have that problem. You have counter and close combat to take down the Blissey and and the Snorlax and it doesn't take super effective damage. So it is just as good, not as good as Machamp, but it's just as good. So that's why that, that was the first Pokemon I ever used the TM on. Speaking of Pokemon, speaking of po this is also, I didn't use a TM on this, but this is also an excellent, an excellent Pokemon to take out Blissey and Snorlax and Tyranitars with because first of all, well, as the same with the Ursa Ring, it does not get su it does not get hit with super effective damage when it when Blissey and Snorlax use Zen Headbutt when they use when Blissey uses Dazzling Gleam. Uh, or when Blissey uses Psychic. So this is also a very, very good Pokemon to have, as well as Tyranitar, because Tyranitar is a Dark Rock type, which means it's Dark type, it's double, has a double weakness to, to Fighting type. And it's also a Rock type, which means it has a weakness to Earthquake. So um, Donphan with Counter Earthquake is also an excellent, an excellent choice against Tyranitar, and a very, very good choice against Blissey and Snorlax. So, the first Pokemon that you want to use your TMs on is none other than Blissey. If you haven't got a Dazzling Gleam Blissey, that is the number one uh, moveset you want to get. You want to get Zen Headbutt and Dazzling Gleam. Actually, I have to go into the items page to use my TM. Hang on. Yeah. So, I've got 11 fast TMs, 10 charged TMs. I've been ray battling like crazy. I've got 187 rare candies. I've got a load of golden raspberries as well. Yeah, a load of golden raspberries. Um, it would have been more, but I've been using them. So, but yeah, the first Pokemon I'm going to use my TMs on. The number one Pokemon you want to try and get is you'll get your Blissey to have Dazzling Gleam. If it doesn't have Dazzling Gleam already, you want it to get Dazzling Gleam. 
So the first Pokemon I'm going to use my TMs on. Now this could take... Now this, <laughs> this is 96% IV, fully powered up. 3,147 CP. It might take a few TMs to get this. So this is the worry. I've, I've got a list of Pokemon that I'm going to use, try and use TMs on, but I could run out. Like, cause, because it might take more than one. So I'm going to stick... It will forget Hyper Beam. With, char with quick moves, it's a lot easier because you can only use one... You can only get one or two quick moves. So it's a lot easier. So you're basically guaranteed to get the move you want. Um, but with charge moves, it's very, very different. So let's see. Yes, hopefully we get Dazzling Gleam. Yes, Dazzling Gleam. So, success right, right off the bat. So this is the move set you want. You want Zen Headbutt Dazzling Gleam on your Blissey. That is the first Pokemon I'm going to use. I've, got, I've used my TM on. Very happy with that. Now my Blissey will be amazing in gyms. And my Dazzling Gleam, like I said, like with Machamp, like Machamp is the best Pokemon to try and take out Blissey with, but the thing is, if it's got Zen Headbutt and Dazzling Gleam, it, de it also deals super effect da effective damage against Machamp. And against what other fighting types like Primate. Or if you're in South America, Heracross. So, the next Pokemon I'm going to use my TM on is not something you would uh, expect. It's actually not one of my. I'm going to power this up, but I'm going to use it on a Rock Smash. I'm going to use it on this, um, this particular 91% IV, uh, 1923 CP Polyrath. Because Polyrath is also a fighting type, so as well as Machamp, this is the other. This is one of the other good fighting types. It's much better than. Um, it's much more powerful than your than Primeape. So this is the one you want to power up and to get, try and get a uh, Rock Smash, Dynamic Punch. Ursaring can't learn Dynamic Punch. It can only learn close close combat, but Polyrath can learn Dynamic Punch. So I'm gonna try and get Dynamic Punch. On this, I actually have a 100% IV. Like I have actually much better IV. Uh, uh, Polyraths, 98% IV. Bubble Hydro Pump, uh, Rock Smash, Ice Punch, 100% IV, 93% IV. But this 91% IV is really, really high CP. And I had about basically four million Stardust, and I'm not gonna. And I thought I could power up most of rest of my stuff. I can't power up 10. I can barely power up 10% of the Pokemon that I want to power up. It's just crazy how. Stardust is such a valuable resource. I did. I didn't even power up any useless stuff as well. Uh, so, so this. So now I'm going to try and get Dynamic Punch. I want Rock Smash Dyna Dynamic Punch. It is also as well as good for taking out um, uh, Blissies and Snorlaxes. Um, Ice Punch. Damn. Okay, Rocks. Okay, I'm going to use another TM on this. Okay, I'm just going to keep going. I could run out of TMs here, so. I think I'm down to uh, eight. Hydro pump. Oh my goodness, guys! This this is what I feared. This is what I feared. Okay, okay. Use it again. Okay, before I use, it, I'm gonna see how many TMs I've got. I've got seven left. I've only got seven left, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. <clears throat> It's also it's also excellent for taking out um, <clears throat> Tyranitars because it's a water type, and water types will resist Stone Edge. So, as well as resisting its Dark Time moves, it'll resist its uh, Stone Edge. Come on, give me Dynamic Punch. Dynamic Punch. There we go. Rock Smash Dynamic Punch. Ninety-one percent IV. I will be powering this up in my next status video. That will also that will be my last status video. I've got like one point three million. So I'll be using all of that in my next video. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at the time. Nine minute video right now. But that is, I'm very happy with that. Rock Smash, Dynamic Punch, Polyrath. Awesome. Actually, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna exit out here. And the next Pokemon I'm going to uh, pa uh, use a Charge TM on is just trying to get Hydro Pump. Just trying to get Hydro Pump on my, um, just trying to get Hydro Pump on on my Vaporeon. I've got Aqua Tail. This is still a very, very good defender. If you've got another Vaporeon with Hydro Pump already, that's really high IV, really high CP, then you, you want to keep this for gym defending. However, I'm not going to power up any more Vaporeons. I'm going to die. I'm going to spread out my starters to other Pokemon. So I've decided just to get rid of Aqua Tail and try and get Hydro Pump. It's 
fully powered up, 3,100 CP. Water pulse, ah, oh, okay. Okay, give me Hydro Pump. <clears throat> Aqua Tail. Okay, guys, <laughs> I'm gonna use all my TMs on like, I had, I, this is what I feared, this is what I feared, guys. Okay. Come on, give me Hydro Pump. Water Pulse, oh my goodness, how many TMs have I got left? I've got three, t oh my goodness, I've already got three TMs left. This is, this is actually really bad for my vid, for this particular video, like a TM guy kind of video, but, But I have to. But it also tells you that charge how it also illustrates the fact that how hard you it is still is to get the, the hydro pump. Yes, hydro pump. It also illustrates how hard it is to get the move set that you want. I'll also go through the Pokemon that I won't be able to use TMs on um, that I wanted to power up, that I wanted to change get the better move sets for. Um, so the next Pokemon I am going to try and get a uh, the Dardy move set for is actually going to be a fast move it's actually going to be a Machamp pretty standard stuff guys pretty standard stuff I've got a bullet punch submission 87% IV 2000 87% IV 2400 and 26 CP really really high CP and it's got submission which is a legacy move set. it's still not as good as dynamic punch obviously but it's legacy, so you can't get it anymore. I don't want to delete it, just delete it. Um, the Machamp next to it, 1600 CP, is 96% uh, IV. I want to use both TMs to try and get counter dynamic punch on that as well. But I'm not going to show that to you because I'm sure you've seen plenty of counter dynamic punches. Plenty of counter dynamic punch Machamps. The Machamp to my to the left there, the maxed out Machamp, 2821 CP, counter dynamic punch, 93% IV. That is my best Machamp. I want to try and get count. I'm, well, I'm going to get counter. I'm going to get counter here. I don't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't uh, need to worry. It's a 100%. It's a. You can only use. Yeah. You. You can only only get two quick moves. So there you go. That's counter. Now a counter submission. Um, a champ. Also, also very, very, very useful against uh, Tyranitar's blisters and Snorlaxes. Um, now, the next Pokemon is go. I've only got two. Charge TMs left, guys. I've only got two charge TMs left, and I've got a, I've got a, I knew this would happen. I didn't make my list of Pokemon that I wanted to TM wanted to TM too big, but <clears throat> here we go, guys. Um, what I wanted to TM, I'm not going to TM the one I, 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 I. What I wanted to TM as well is um, not this, not this Dragonite, but I wanted to TM a. This Dragonite, yeah, sorry. I thought it was lower down. I wanted to TM two Dragonites. This one is here. 3,175 CP. It's got Steel Wing and Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw has now become like a, a very good defensive move. Because Dragon Claw is really quick. It's really hard to dodge. And if you pair it with Dragon Tail, really high DPS. And it's a really, really good defender. So, what am I doing? It's a fast move. So, yeah. Stupid me. Um... Yeah, right here I will go ahead and get a... It will forget Steel Wing, that's fine. Now I will get a Dragon Tail, Dragon Claw. I just spaced out for a second. Because there's another Dragonite that I want I want to use TMs on, that I'm not, I'm not going to. I will show it to you in a second. So there we go, Dragon Tail, Dragon Claw. Very good for putting in gyms. Even though it's got a double weakness to Ice. This Now this is the Dragonite that I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to... um. I wanted to use it on this, on the Dragonite above the Seedra, or no Kingdra, not Seedra, Kingdra, above the Kingdra, Dragon Breath, Dragon Pulse, 93% IV, I wanted to use the Charge TM to try and get Outrage, but it's not as important as the Pokemon I'm about to power up, so Dragon Breath, Outrage is like the best moveset, Dragon Tail, Outrage is still better by DPS, but Dragon Breath is a lot quicker, you can dodge a lot better, it's 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 the optimum, it's the best moveset. That's the one you want. Dragon Breath, Outrage is the one you want. But I'm not going to be able to use that today. Because there's another Pokemon that I want to use it on. That is a really high CP, that I'm going to power up, a really high CP, Lapras. Frost Breath, Hydro Pump, 87% IV. I've actually already got Frost Breath, Blizzard, 91% IV. I think it's 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 one a hatch out of an egg. Yeah, 14, 1470 CP. 
Frost Breath Blizzard. I've also got 89% Ivy, sorry. And I've also got Ice Shard Ice Beam 91% Ivy. I've hatched these both out of eggs. And I'm just not, uh, I, it, ideally I'd power up these guys, but I don't have the starter. So I'm going for the, I'm going for the 2100 CP. Hopefully I get Blizzard. Ooh, I almost used the fast TM on his. Oh my goodness, guys. So, that was close. That was close to being a disaster. So, Lapras. I want Frost Breath Blizzard out of this. Come on. I've only got two chances at this. Come on, give me Blizzard. It's only 87% IV, but it's really high CP. Blizzard. Oh. Ice Beam. Okay, so what happened before was it once I exited out and clicked on my charge TM again and then used it, I was able to get the moveset. So I'm going to repeat that. Hopefully I get lucky. Come on. Give me, give me Blizzard. Blizzard, there we go. Last TM, got the moveset that I want. Very happy with that. But now I've run out of TMs. I've run, it's, it's out of the page. It's back into the item page. I've run out of TMs. Run out of TMs. So I only be, I was only able to, that just shows you, even if you've got a bunch of TMs, I had 10. I didn't have a lot, but I had 10. It takes a lot of tries to get the movesets that you want. The RNG, it's, you're, you're down to the whims of RNG. Just like with most mobile games, you're down to the whims of RNG. So there are tons of other Pokemon that I want to, wanted to power up as well. I mean, not power up, to use TMs on as well. So what I'll do right now is use my fast TM on some of the Pokemon that that I want to... Um, that I was going to power up, that I was going to use TMs on. I keep saying power up. So there is this Flareon. 2000... Uh, no, not, not the 2000. 2,284 is about Ember Fire Blast. I'm going to keep that. But what I want, because it's 89% IV, whereas this one, 98% IV, Ember Flamethrower, I wanted to get Fire Spin and Overheat on this particular um, Flareon. 98% IV, it's basically perfect IV. I have got, I think I've got other Fire Spin, I've got a Fire Spin Overheat Flareon just below it, 1600 CP, but guys, I, 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 want, I want that 98% IV to have Fire spin and overheat. So what I'm gonna do is use my um my quick my quick what's it called? Is it quick charge TM? Fast TM. Okay, I'm gonna use my fast TM on the Flareon. And in a, on a future date, I will use the charge TM to try and get overheat. I could get a fire spin um M fire spin fire yeah yeah that's what I'm gonna do yeah that's what I plan to do. I'm also gonna use the, the TM on the on my most powerful on this on my most powerful Flareon. Fire spin and fire blast. Fire spin is a better. I'm gonna check right now, but I'm pretty sure that fire spin is better than Ember in every way. In every way. So just let me go on um, Game Press. This is like this is there, there are other, there are other sites for checking move sets and stuff, but. I really, really like Game Press. It gives you all the, it gives you the numbers like the DPS, the cooldown, uh, the EPS, the energy per second, the DPS with stab, without stab. So this is really, really good. Ember is a cooldown of one, whereas Fire Spin is a cooldown of 1.1. It's DPS with stab is 15.9, whereas DPS with stab for Ember is 12.5. So much higher DPS, and the, the cooldown is slower by like, like a fraction. It does have a lower EPS, but it's it's um does have a lower EPS, but I'm okay with that. It's 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 a much better move to have. You want you want fire spin. It's basically just as fast, but it does so much more damage. And the energy gain, energy gain, and the cooldown, the difference is negligible. So you want to get fire spin. So. And I've got, I've got Ember Fire Blast. It's not like I haven't got Ember Fire Blast. I've got Fire Spin Fire Blast, 98% uh, IV with 41 CP. It's like a big, a very, very, like, very cool Flareon right there that I can never, never use. But, okay. Flareon. So this is definitely the Flareon that you want. 
fire spin. Fire spin, fire blast. Or fire spin. Like, fire spin, fire blast isn't that much different from fire spin overheat, to be honest. Um, let's have a look at its stats. Cool. Let's have a look at its cooldown. 4.2 and 4. Yeah, but it's much higher DPS with um, overheat, so. I will be getting my overheat Flareons eventually, but not right now. So, the next one I'm going to use my TMs on, my, a fast TM on, is my Victory Bell. Now this particular Victory Bell is, you can't, I can't, I can't share it to you, but this particular Victory Bell is um, my, one of my first ever 100% Ivy Pokemon. I think my first 100% Ivy Pokemon was a, um, was a Sandshrew, it was a Sand Slash, and a Sand Slash, um, yeah, this, I think this was my second or third, and the Persian. I've got a 100% IV Meowth. I think I hatched them all out of eggs, including this particular um, Victory Bell. I hatched the Bell Sprout out of an egg. So I'll be using my fast move to get Razor Leaf, Solar Beam. What I want, but what I wanted to do was have the Charge TM to be able to change Solar Beam into Leaf Blade. Razor Leaf, Solar Beam, 100% IV. Now, even though it's only 2,000 CP, this is actually above the max, above 5,000 dust. It's like 7,000 dust already, because I powered it up before. Because it was one of my first ever 100% Ivy Pokemon. And during those days, um, Victory Bell was a very, very good attacker before the, the CP rebalance, so the CP update, which made Alkazam and the Champ a lot more viable. So this is actually won't take me that much Starless. It'll take me like less than 100k to power this guy fully up. And with... And the reason I'm going for Leaf Blade, like, you might be thinking, why you, why do you want Leaf Blade instead of Solar Beam? Well, Leaf Blade is actually a better attack. It doesn't do, it's obviously not as big of an attack as Solar Beam. But in terms of, and DPS, Solar Beam is still better. But it's a really, really quick attack. So if you compare Solar Beam and Leaf Blade on Game Press... Or just go on Reddit. So I'm sure someone's like compiled the move, compiled like done like an analysis kind of thing. Um, it's got a really quick cooldown. Leaf Blade has got a really, it's like almost half the cooldown. Cooldown for Solar Beam is 4.9. Cooldown for um, Leaf Blade is 2.4. And by the way, cooldown just means like attack animation. How long it, how long until it finishes its, its attack animation? So, and it does. It's a three charge bar move that does 70, 70 damage. You could basically, as a grass type, for taking out Vaporeons and Rhydons, like it's it's a lot better than Solar Beam. Well, it's not a lot better, but it's it's much better than Solar Beam. You can dish out that damage really, really quickly. You don't have to wait for your charge bar to reach the max before using that Solar Beam. Especially when a raid boss like deals like incredible damage, you could get taken out before you actually use that Solar Beam. Whereas with Leaf Blade, you can you can tap 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 hit tap 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 hit. So it's Kind of like Dynamic Punch. So, that's why I want Leaf Blade instead of Solar Beam. And I've got plenty of, there are plenty of other Pokemon with Solar Beam, like Venusaur, and um, uh, my Tangela has got Solar Beam. I'm sure there are others, there are other grass types that I'm forgetting about right now. Um, let's have a look, any grass types? Executor, of course, Executor with Solar Beam. Um, speaking of Executor, Now, I've got two fully powered up Executors, one with the best defensive moveset, Confusion Seed Bomb, one with the best attacking moveset, Zen Herbert Solar Beam. Now, I am debating, I've also got Zen Herbert Solar Beam 91% of you, I'm debating whether to change it, my Zen Herbert Solar Beam, to a Bullet Seed Solar Beam. Because then it's got double grass, then it could take out, because having the same attack, having the same type with both your attacks is much more effective when you're trying to attack raid bosses or gyms but this is what I'm debating I've already got I've got Zen Herbert Psychic 100% IV two of them but I and I've got other I've got also got Zen Herbert Solar Beam 91% IV it's just not maxed out 2300 CP is really really high you do not want to get rid of Confusion Seed Bomb yeah, I don't think it can't learn Confusion anymore Confusion is a legacy moveset you can't learn Confusion anymore so you want to keep your executors with confusion. Um, I think seed bomb, actually seed bomb, might be, might be a legacy as well. 
No, Zen, oh my, wait a minute. So Zen Headbutt is also Legacy. Hmm. I didn't realize Zen, yeah, extra sensory. So Zen Headbutt is also Legacy moveset. So you can't get Zen Headbutt anymore. So I'm not completely sure if I'm doing the right thing, but I want a Pokemon, I want my Executor with double grass type move. And it's not like I haven't got a Zen Headbutt sold. 91% IV is what? So 96, 98, 96, 93, 90, it's only 4 IV, 3 or like 90, 96, yeah it's only 4 IV points away from being a perfect IV. So I'm going to use my fast TM for my 100% IV, fully powered up Executor with Zen Hepa Solar Beam, I'm going to get Bullet Seed Solar Beam. Well actually I might have to use more than one. Because it could get extra sensory. Bullet seed. There we go. Bullet seed. Double grass type move on your executor. On my executor. And it's not like I don't know if that's 100% the right thing to do, but I do have a I do have a Zen Hepa Solar Beam right next to it. Zen Hepa Solar Beam. So it's okay. I'm perfectly fine with that. I still use my Zen Hepa. I still use even though it's not fully powered up. I still use the the 2300 CP to take out Rhydons as well. It's also very very effective. It's just not as effective as having a Bullet Seed Solar Beam. Any Grass type, any Water type, Bullet Seed Solar Beam with such a powerful Pokemon to take it out is really, really good. Now, how long are we? Almost half an hour. I'll, keep, I'll make this a half an hour video. Um, now, the next Pokemon I want to use a quick TM on is a Golem. I wanted to use the charge TM to try and get Rock Throw Stone Edge, but I've, as you can tell, I've run out of uh, charge TMs already. I think I ran out in the fourth at the fourth Pokemon. I think I ran out of the fourth Pokemon. That's kind of crazy. So, with Golem, sorry about that, misspelled Golem. I want to get Mud Slap Earthquake. No, I want to get um, yeah, I want to get Mud Slap Earthquake. I've got a Rock Throw Earthquake, 2,470 CP. And I've got plenty of Rock Throws, rock, and I've got other Rock Throws as well. I want to try and get Mud Slap. If it can get Mud Slap. No, it can't. No, it, can get, it can't get Mud Shot. But it can get Mud Slap. So having a double, double ground is also very useful against, um, against Poison types and of course against uh, Tyranitar. Mud Slap Earthquake is also very useful against Tyranitas. And because it's also a rock type, it'll resist resist Stone Edge. So, so I'm going to uh, use my fast TM on this on this 2470 CP Golem. And in the future, I'm going to be using a charge TM on a rock to try and get rock throw stone edge Tyran uh, Golem on this particular onto this on this 91% IV, 2,463 CP uh, Golem. So, actually, which one? This one's 91. So, which one? Which one do you think I should power up? Do you think I should power up the Rock Throw, the 89% IV, or the 91% IV? The 91% IV has a lower CP because it doesn't have a st attack as its best stat. So that's why, so if you're wondering why I'm powering up the, if you're wondering which one I should um, use my TM on, you want to use it on the one with a higher IV. The, re the only reason why the CP is higher is because its attack stat is higher, so an attack has a bigger weighting in terms of the CP calculation. But CP doesn't matter, so even though this, is, uh, this Golem only has a 1 IV difference, one IV point difference between the other golem. It's got higher IVs, so we want to go with that one. So this one will be the Mud Slap Earthquake. And then I'm going to use my TM to get Rock Throw Stone Edge. I, didn't, I don't need to use my Charge TM here. 
because I've already got Stone Edge, and this is going to be 96% IV. So this is going to be really, really, really powerful. Rock Thrust, if I power it up, when I power it up, I'm going to power, I'm not going to power it up in my Stardust video, because um, it's it just takes too much dust. But here we go, Rock. I'm going to get a Rock Throw, Stone Edge, Golem right here. Rock Throw, Stone Edge, Golem, by the way guys, is going to kill, is going to kill the Legendary Birds when they come out. When the Legendary events come out, Rock Throw, Earthquake, is going to be super effective against the Legendary Birds. And because it's also a ground type, it's going to resist Zapdos' attacks, it's going to resist, uh, it's going to resist, uh, what should we call it? Moltres. It's going to resist Moltres' uh, fire type attacks. And I think it's going to resist Articuno's attacks as well. No, no, no. It's, no, sorry. <laughs> I got that wrong. Articuno is going to be super effective. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, it's going to resist fire type attack. It's going to resist double. It's got to got to get, have a double resistance against electric attacks. I've just gone straight to game press. I'm not gonna just guess. It's, it's going to resist. It's got a double resistance against electric attacks because it's ground and rock type. It's got a resistance against fire type attacks. And yes, it is. It is going to be have a. It's going to be. Uh, it's going to have a weakness against a against ice type attacks, so Articuno is going to deal super effective damage. But because Articuno is also a flying type, it'll Golem will also be able to deal super effective damage. I think, unless unless ice and unless they cancel each other out, I'm not sure. I don't think they do. But um, yeah. So Golem is like the Rock Throw Stone Edge Golem, and if 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 Rhydon eventually gets a Rock type fast move. Then, Go then Rhydon will be as well, but Golem, like a double rock type move, rock type Pokemon, is going to be super, super awesome against the legendary Pokemon when the legendary birds when they come out. So, now, now I guess right now I'm just going to go through some of the other Pokemon that I wanted to power up. I've wanted to use TMs on. I keep saying power up. Wanted to use TMs on, but I couldn't. I wanted to try and get a Vine Whip Solar Beam. Uh, with my 100 raise, sorry, um, yeah, Vine Whip Solar Beam on my super high CP, 100% 100, 100 IV, 2,128 CP, Venusaur. But I ran out of charge. I've run out of charge TMs. How many fast TMs do I have? Now? I only have three fast TMs left, so I can still use it on the Venusaurs. I can still use it on this particular Venusaur, 96% IV. This one I hatched out of it. This, if it's 1400, then it's basically one I hatched out of it. Oh, wait a minute, no. I've got this 1900. 1900, 96% IB as well. Razor Leaf Solar Beam, so I can use it to get a Vine Whip. My first ever. Like, if you haven't watched any of my videos before, I have evolved so many Venusaurs. I have never got Vine Whip Solar Beam. I must have evolved 10 to 15 Venusaurs. Okay. And I've never got Vine Whip Solar Beam. Vine Whip Sludge Wave. Razor Leaf Solar Beam. I've got everything else. Vine Whip Petal Blizzard even. But not Vine Whip Solar Beam. So 96% IV is going to be my first ever Vine Whip Solar Beam Venusaur. There we go guys, there we go. Vine Whip, yes, Vine Whip Solar Beam. Vine Whip is definitely much better than Razor Leaf. It's much lower DPS, but it's a lot quicker attack. Much like Dragon Breath, much like the Dragon Breath versus Dragon Tail, you know, Dilemma. But Vine Whip is definitely, definitely the one you want. Um, so, that is going to do it. Oh, actually there is another Pokemon that I won't be able to use my TMs for. It's like this Pinsir. I wanted to use my Charge TM to try and get a Rock Smash Close Combat uh, Pinsir. For this particular... Actually, no. I was going to use Charge, uh, charge TM to try and get a Rock Smash close combat on this 96% IV 1800 CP but I've run out of charge TMs so I'm going to use a fast TM to get a to change this to change bug bite on this 1500 I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to get words out guys it's one take this is half an hour video 35 minute video and 
I'm gonna, my final Pokemon I'm going to use a TM on is this Bug Bite Close Combat. 96% IV, 1573 CP Pinsir. It's got a double fighting type move, which is is just like Ursaray. It's not a fighting type, so Zen Headbutt. So Snorlax with Zen Headbutt. Blissey with Zen Headbutt Dazzling Gleam will not deal super effective damage. And it is a tank of an attacker. It's not a tank defensively, it's, it's a glass cannon. You can take it out really easily, but it's a really high attack stat. You can take it out. You can take out this season Snorlaxes really quick with this. So, 96% IV as well. Bug Bite, Close Combat, changing to a... Gonna change it to a uh, Rock Smash. Close Combat. Rock Smash, Close Combat. I was a bit... I was a little bit afraid there that it, like, the, the, like the moves had changed and I didn't know. But yeah, guys. That was my TM guide. I powered up quite a lot of Pokemon today. Uh, not powered, I keep saying powered up. I didn't power up, I changed a lot of movesets on a lot of Pokemon today. Got a Zen Headbutt Dazzling Gleam. Finally, Zen Headbutt Dazzling Gleam Blissey. Watergun Hydro Pump. Gotta, I gotta change my moves. As you can tell, like my, I named my Pokemon based on the moveset, so Watergun Aqua Tail is WGAT. But now it's Watergun Hydro Pump Vaporeon, 98% IV. I've got a Dragon now, I've got a Dragon Tail, Dragon Claw, Dragon Knight. What other Pokemon? I've got a ton of other Pokemon. So Zen Hebert Solar Beam. I'm, gonna, I'm only going to go over the most powerful ones, but I've got a Bullet Seed Solar Beam Executor. I've still got Zen Hebert Solar Beam, it's fine. I'm totally okay with that. Some of the other Pokemon I powered up, I uh, used TMs on. Is a going to be this Lapras, the Rock Throw? Not this one. This one's still got Rock Throw, Earthquake. This one, Mud Slap, Earthquake. Very good against any Electric types. The one I showed you previously, right at the start of the video. Counter Close Combat, Ursary. I also use a TM on this Flareon to get Fire Spin Fire Blast. I'm still, I still want to get another, I still want to try and get a Fire Spin Overheat with my other Flareon, 98% IV. I also used it on a Lapras, this Lapras, getting a Frost Breath Blizzard, 80, only 87% IV but really high CP, really high CP. It's at 5000 dust so I won't need to invest that with Stardust. 1.32 million Stardust left in my next Stardust video. The next Pokemon, some of the other Pokemon I powered up was a uh, 2000 CP Victory Bell to get Razor Leaf Solar Beam. I am going to use a Charge TM to try and get Razor Leaf Leaf Blade. That is the next Pokemon on the list. It's at, like I said before, it's at 7000 Dust already. It's gonna take, if you, if you notice the power bar, the charge bar on the left, on the right, sorry, not going to take that long to power up, so. This will be one of my best the grass type attackers. I think it's got really high attack stats as well. Um, much like Pinsir, high attack stats, but you know, bad other stats are quite bad. Then this Venusaur, Vine Whip Solar Beam. Finally got a Vine Whip Solar Beam. Really happy with this guy, really happy with this. There are, so there are a lot of other Pokemon that I wanted to power up. I mean, I wanted to use t the one millionth time there are a, a, a lot of other Pokemon I wanted to use TMs on, but I'm not going to be able to do that to do that today. I will save that for my next TM guide video, where I'll be using TMs on a bunch of other types, bunch of other Pokemon that I will recommend. But those are the Pokemon that I use TMs on. I also use it on Machamp. Oh, Poliwrath! I, I, I want to finish on Poliwrath because I also use the TMs on um, on getting. Uh, Machamps. So the uh, I'll show the Machamps first. So the Machamps count um, my my first Machamp counter close combat my counter dynamic punch. The one I had then counter submission. It did have bullet punch submission. Then I changed it to counter submission. The most important Pokemon in in Pokemon Go right now Machamp. He is the champ Machamp. I'm going to use TMs on this guy in the future to try and because it's 96 percent IV. I caught this is a raid boss. I caught this from a raid. So. Has it got a location? No, just Hong Kong. 
So I'm going to try and get counter dynamic punch on this guy and then power it up. It's 96% IV, guys. And then the last Pokemon I'm going to finish off with is going to be this Polyrath with Rock Smash Dynamic Punch. I used a lot, I used a lot of charge, TM, charge TMs on this guy. I think I wasted at least three. But Rock Smash Dynamic Punch, like, this is like one of the best fighting types you can get. Like, Machamp is like, like number one, but this is a close second because it is also fighting type, so it gets stabbed and it resists, it resists uh, Tyrannosaur's uh, rock type moves. So it resists Stone Edge, so it's really, really good against Tom, but it's really, really good against Tyranitar, guys. Anyway, guys, and because it's a fighting type, it will, res it will of course, resist Dark type moves as well. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed my first Pokemon Go TM guide. There will be more in the future once I gather enough TMs. I use, basically used all my TMs today, barring bar one, I think, one uh, fast TM. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. This has been... Actually, my next video is not going to be the, the another TM video. My next video is going to be one million, my final one million status video. Uh, I'm going to power up some some stuff, but uh, in the future there will be more more gyms, more gym battling and raids. If you know when, if and when the uh, the, the the raiding and the gym battling becomes less buggy, so I can actually do some screen recording. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. This has been. A long video from Ash Catcher 1987, my road to level 40, signing off. <laughs>